And so far, so good after families in Macomb County take extra precautions during the Super Bowl. The concerns were high. A mad rush to the restroom at halftime might overwhelm the 15 mile sewer interceptor collapse. Now tonight it looks as though residents in the affected area paid attention to all the warnings and it has paid off. Local force Rod Maloney is live in Clinton Township with uh, what is a good news story. No problems out there, huh Rod? Well, it seems so, Steve. You know, here's the thing. When you make international headlines with a problem like this during the Super Bowl, it's going to be top of mind for everybody. And there were a lot of crossed fingers out here because we found out it takes a couple of hours for the water levels to spike. Well, it's been about two and a half hours. And even though there's been activity out here and the air quality has really gone down, they say everything's going to be fine. Grandma Andrea and Grandpa Tom Smoots hosted the family Super Bowl party in Sterling Heights. Everyone you see here lives in the 11 city water warning zone. So grandkids, cousins and dogs enjoyed together time along with a tasty buffet. The adults played poker and reviewed prop bets. Bill Belichick is not wearing a gray hoodie, so I'm up on one there too. Go! And this is a vastly different game than in years past. The bathroom quite tiny for the task. So Tom has a little saying. If it's yellow, let it mellow. Well, you can imagine how the rest goes. We'll leave it at that. Andrea told us it's really about retraining the little ones. We, we don't flush the toilet all the time. We went to paper plates, cups, disposable items, that kind of thing. And, and we're just really shoring down how much water we use and how much is going into the system. And, and you, so there was no rush to the bathroom at halftime, and it wasn't a tough sell. Everyone here knows the stakes are high if an uncontrollable sea of sewage hits a barely functioning sinkhole. If I don't want water going into the Clinton River, you know, then it's going out to our lakes and that's not good, you know, whenever you have that. Yet Tom admits he does have some personal interest here. And also the possibility of it coming up through the sewer system. I mean, I don't want this basement coming up, you know, through the sewer system and wrecking the basement. Well, he just fixed that basement up. It looks very nice. He doesn't want that to happen, certainly. Now, one of the concerns out here is that the system's only operating at about 30% capacity. And with that, any kind of a spike at all could be a problem. And yet, as it stands right now, they're in the clear. Back to you. Wow. Well, Rod, if, if they're running at 30% capacity, I got to believe the threat is not over for those communities if there's still being problems. No. Well, and in talking to the Smoots family tonight, they know that this is not a one day thing, that the Super Bowl was not an isolated event. Tomorrow is Monday morning rush hour, and everybody's concerned that if you forget all of these things, that you could still have a problem tomorrow. So they want to make sure that everybody sticks to it because they're talking about a year before this thing is over. Whew, yeah, tomorrow everybody's up, going to work, going to school. They could have the same thing again. Boy, that's tough for those families. Thank you, Rod. Rod Maloney reporting live.